Hi there boys and girls. Well we've just heard the story of Jonah at Kids Club this morning so I wonder what we can learn from his story. I want to show you a picture of a bulb from my garden. So here it is. You might think well Mary Ann that's a pretty blue flower but what's the big deal? I'll tell you. A few weeks ago when the bulbs had all started popping out of the soil in my garden I noticed this particular flower, it's called a hyacinth and it was growing the wrong way. So that means that the bulb was pointing upwards when it should have been in the soil and the leaves were pointing downwards and so was the flower head. I also noticed that the leaves that should have been a really lovely beautiful green were kind of all pale and yellow and, and not looking very strong at all. And the flower head was all curled up and looked like it was going to drop off the stem of the plant. What the bulb needed me to do, the flower needed me to do, was to uh, pick it up and turn it around so that it was in the proper place. The bulb in the soil and the leaves and flower head pointing upwards into the light. So that's what I did. And as you can see, the flower now looks absolutely amazing. And I can tell you that it smells absolutely beautiful. The story of Jonah is one that I can really relate to sometimes. It's easy to go our own way, isn't it? Maybe we think we know best, or maybe it will be easier if we do it our own way and not God's way. Maybe like Jonah, we sometimes get scared and we just want to run in the opposite direction. Whatever the reason, this verse helps me remember that following God's way is the best way. It says that God sent Jesus to bless us, and that's a good thing, so that we would turn from our own ways. And we find that verse in Acts chapter 3 verse 26. This means that if we are obedient to God, he blesses us with what we need when we turn to follow him. So here's a challenge. Today at home children, will you choose God's way or will you choose your own way? I've got a little signpost that's going to pop up on the screen and you'll see that there are two directions to go. One is God's way and the other is your way. Shall we pray? Father God, thank you so much for your word and thank you when we choose to follow you, you bless us and you help us turn from doing things that don't please you to following you. So help us to do that today, help us to make wise choices, help us to do things your way. I ask this in Jesus' name, Amen. See you soon.